Europe is heavily dependent from imports of rare earths from China. China has very big and good quality resources of rare earth elements. China was lucky in this case. It's not a problem that uh, Europe imports critical raw materials. Uh, the problem is that we rely on a very small number of countries to give us the most important uh, raw materials for our economy. And this creates a risk of supply disruption, but also it makes us vulnerable to political pressure. The EU's new strategy for critical raw materials presents a 10-point action plan to boost our supply of sustainable critical raw materials. The key is diversification. So firstly, we need to source from a wider range of countries. Secondly, we need to do more with the resources we have in Europe itself. And thirdly, we need to ramp up the recovery of those raw materials that are already in the economy. We call it the urban mine. If we want to preserve the quality of our life and also to have a smooth transition to the green economy, it is important to secure the supply of these materials. At the moment, there's a global race for the raw materials that will be needed for clean technologies. Europe runs the risk of, of missing the boat, so we need to uh, act faster and in a much more joined up way than we have in the past. Otherwise, we will not get the raw materials that we need to drive our green and digital transition. But we're confident it can be done.